Hey, it's Courtney Slaznik with ClickItUpAnotch.com and I wanted to talk to you about using the spot removal tool in Lightroom 5. Basically, I think this tool is amazing. One of the things, the new improvements that Lightroom 5 had was they came up with a way not to only use the circle option, but to kind of use it as a brush. So here's an image of my daughter with her pumpkin and my other daughter's feet are in the frame. So instead of cropping it, which I don't want to do, I like the way this is set up, I'm going to go over here. You're going to click on the circle with an arrow. Click on that. This box will drop down. Size is how big the circle is. Um, that's how thick it's, you know, if it's see-through or not. I like to keep it at 100. So I'm going to just paint over her feet. I'm holding down my mouse on the circle and moving it around. So it's this odd shape. Lightroom is automatically going to try and find a place that it thinks is a good match. If you like it, you can keep it or you can hold it down and move it around if you think that you would like a different area. That's completely up to you. That looks good to me. So I'm going to come down here and click done. And her feet are gone. So I'm going to get rid of that pumpkin up here. Click on it again. Just draw a line over it. Again, I'm holding down my mouse while the circle is on. I like what it picked. I'm going to click done. And again, the pumpkin is gone. You can't see it. The only other thing in this picture that I don't like is this little rock by her foot. <laughs> I know it's a small detail, but it bothers me. So Lightroom is picking over here. I'm just going to move that. And it's gone. Done. So real quickly, within less than, a, I mean, about a minute, we're able to remove those three things. So you don't have to pull things into Photoshop anymore if you don't want to. If you want to see the before and after, before pumpkin shoes rock, after it's all gone. I love this feature. It's really easy to use. And again, you just click on the circle with the arrow. You can adjust the size right here. Um, or you can use the little rolly doodaddy thing on your mouse. That's up to you. And the opacity, again, makes it whether or not it's see-through or not. I always keep mine at 100. So I use the clone option. There's a heal option as well that when you click on an area and you go to another area, so just to show you these are extreme contrasts, it's going to pull colors from around it to help try and blend it in. So a cloning is exactly what you're copying and cutting and pasting it. It's putting it right on top of it. Healing is pulling in some of the surrounding colors to try and make it blend. I use them both at different times. That's just something to play with and see which one is a good fit for you. So again, this is Courtney Slaznik, click it up a notch.com, and please let me know if you have any questions.